Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be going over what immutability is within Python. And this video is pretty much just an extension of what a string index is and how I went over that in my last video. And just kind of as a quick refresher, a string index is just a character place within the string itself um, or even possibly the integer. But essentially what we're doing here is with a string index is if we have the H, it would start at zero, and the E would be uh, one. L would be two, L would be three, and then the circle would be a four. So these are the different indexes of the string. Now, immutability comes into play when we want to, for example, update or attempt to update this H here. We wouldn't be able to update it because in memory, Python is um, storing this H in memory as part of this string. And kind of what I mean by that is, let's say we were gonna call this string, we were gonna print it out. Now, if we're gonna print out this string and we wanted to print out the H, what we would do is we would go ahead and bring up the end. And if we run this code, we would have H printed out, right? Now, let's say we want to be able to just assign this uh, circle, the first um, character in this string, a new value. Let's say we want to assign it up the new variable called string and they'll bring up the first index let's say we want to assign it a value of m would we be able to go ahead and update this well if we went ahead and ran the variable string again what we'd get is an error what it's essentially saying is the string object does not support item assignment so what's happening here is in memory again python's already stored um, already stored like this value and memory, and we can actually see it with the code, this code right here. So what I have for you right here is I've got a for loop, and we're printing out each index of this string, and we're gonna be able to see in memory what is being printed out. So let's go ahead and get rid of this code here. So if we were to run this, what would happen is we would be able to see the actual position that Python is storing each character, each index in memory, and each of these are something different. And then just kind of to clarify, um, one thing I actually did mention a little bit ago is that each of these characters is stored in memory. They each have their own value. That's not necessarily true. As we see with this circle right here, it ends in 08608. And likewise, with this one as well, it ends at 608. So what's happening here is that each character is stored in its own location in memory. But if you were to like look at the other ones like this N, obviously is stored in a different location and, and this E. So just know that if you have like a, two different circles in uh, memory, they'll be stored in the same location. Um, but if you have just different characters and whatnot, as you can see, it'll be stored in their own uh, location. So I just kind of wanted to clarify that because I know I just said that each character will have its own place in memory. I just wanted to clarify that like they'll just share the memory because already this circle right here is already being assigned to this location. And then again, we're just calling it later. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. I'll go ahead and link a really cool blog post that goes over this. It's real short and sweet. So uh, you can always go ahead and check out that blog post. But uh, otherwise, I wanna thank you for watching this video and I encourage you guys to check out some of my other videos where I talk about Python and just kind of my journey as a Python programmer. So thanks for checking this out and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks guys.